This NFL Week 17 Props Edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by SGPN's ultimate New Year's Eve party. Hop on our YouTube channel for a truly DGEN afternoon, complete with picks, prizes, live sweats, and more. The fun starts at 12:30 PST, New Year's Eve. Hey everybody, Joe Thigh's been here. You're listening to SGPN. So do this, let it ride. Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. I'm here. Yes, you're here. <laughs> high energy. High energy, <laughs> indeed. I, I should be higher energy. Yeah. Just cash the massive ticket. Woo! It's smoke about weed. Yeah, I mean, we're taping this during Thursday night football. It has been a cash fest. Wow. And Joku over. Uh plus money on the uh, on the uh, Joe Flacco over one and a half passing touchdowns, Kramer hit his crazy uh, parlay. Well, the the parlay is not done. Yeah, I needed a Bonaconda to hit, but I did a version without a bon- a Bonaconda. Who just got a carry? Also, Let's go. Also, um, we workshopped the idea of doing the Simeon interception, uh, Browns defensive touchdown. Mm. I've already heard from some people on the streets that they parlayed the defensive touchdowns. Oh, oh. Uh, some people did the both quarterbacks to throw interceptions. Both we did defenses say, to score touchdowns. We did say anytime the NFC North plays or AFC North plays each other, we have to um, parlay defensive touchdowns. Now Jets not in the AFC North, but maybe maybe we should grandfather Let, them. Let's in. do this. Browns home games on Thursday night football. <laughs> All right, auto play. Lock them in. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan joining us. Yeah, uh, didn't mean to bury the lead. The bet detective himself. No. You know him from the Bottom Line Bombs podcast. CJ Sullivan, aka the man in the box. Crame dog showing off the uh, CJ Sullivan bet detective. <laughs> yes, you with the Jim Carrey hair is just like <laughs> almost. Um, it's one of the best photoshops we've ever. It, it was. Yeah. It just worked out I mean, perfectly. All right. Cause I was like, uh, we, we came up with the idea of bet detective. Yep. Uh, I was like, oh, I got to send a uh, merch guy, Jake on a Photoshop. And I go, okay, I'll look through CJ's <laughs> photos, mm-hmm. find one that matches this sweet movie mm-hmm. cover. It was perfect. Right. Almost kind of right. You remember big boys restaurant. There's almost a, there's almost a hint of that with the, the giant yes. hair. The giant hair for sure. Um, uh, sniffing out the bad lines, the yes. bad detective. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't hard to find a picture like that. I was a Jim Carrey yeah. impersonator for three oh, years. Oh, really? Life, you know. B- busy, busy, uh, busy in the streets during bowl season. I'm sure Colby <laughs> has you chasing down a oh, lot of leads. Good God, yeah, he's got me on a lot of a lot of gum, a lot of gum shoe cases out there <laughs> hitting the streets, cracking the doors. Um, no, you didn't bear the lead. I was congratulations. I, I mean, every par- all the parlays were hit. What a great first half that was. Of that Browns Jets game, everything was hitting. I mean, overs, just yeah. the, the game over. I mean, Joe Flacco threw for 300 yards in the first half of a football game in 2023. Elijah Moore, he hit his, he already hit all his props, and then he had the decency to take him out of the game Ugh. just in case you have any Cedric <laughs> Tillmans or anything else down the ladder. It really? Like, come on, else, come on in there, fellas. Yeah, it is. A, it is a party for this Jets yeah. Browns Thursday night football. Who would have thought? Everyone, oh, it's Jets Browns Thursday night. Are, it's gonna be ugly. Are we at all worried about the Browns? Defense? Defense as we head into the play, this Browns team is live no. in the playoffs. So much. I, I, <laughs> I, I said in the office, I've seen a bunch of other people sharing similar sentiments, but Nick Foles vibes for mm. sure mm. with uh, Flacco. Joe Flacco. Fun fact: I was digging into some contract stuff, Sean. As you know, towards the end of the season, good time to look at the contract incentives. Mm. Joe Flacco gets seventy-five k a win. 
Wow. Mm. Yeah. And and he just si- he just signed a deal. Like yeah. uh, you know, Brown should consider him long term. I mean, fuck Deshaun Watson. Got a hundred K a loss for some reason. They wanted <laughs> yeah. to draft pick him. Yeah, they gotta they gotta relook at his uh, deal there, but uh I'm not touching Deshaun Watson. Good times. <laughs> Chat is lit as always. Well, don't worry. Houston still has their first round pick, Sean. Mm. So yes. Funny um, enough. A moon off in the chat. Benedict Antold, Scott Cotto, uh, all hopping in in the chat. Whenever I see Scott Cotto, I think I think of a Sharknado. Oh, okay. Mm, so yeah, for, I can see that for sure. Just feels like a avocado and Scott. Yeah, kind of baby. Yeah, I, we'll have to ask Scott you. Scott Cotto. <laughs> Where the uh, what that what that is coming from? Uh, we got Ryan. We have a big uh, announcement, or Do it's we? already it's already been announced, but. Sunday, uh, it's going to be a rocking New Year's Eve afternoon party. Kickoff starts at twelve thirty. We're going to be doing uh, fantasy best ball drafts. We're going to be reacting to the Week Seventeen games, doing some pickums, giving out cash and prizes. Uh, maybe we'll get to fire up the prize wheel. Just, just having a kind of a shit show. I'm going to be getting drunk. Uh, How do we get that prize wheel back to the home office? Wow. So. Uh, Adam mentioned that he could mail it back, but uh, hopefully Adam is around so he could just spin the wheel for us. Oh, Otherwise, we can works. do the we can do the digital wheel, Ryan. That's, oh yeah, that's we can, certainly we can always come up with a digital wheel. But we'll figure it out. Either way, twelve thirty <laughs> Pacific, youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast. Smash that subscribe button. Get in and uh, yes, little pulling back the curtain there, talking about some uh, prize wheel logistics. Electric conversation. So there'll be live sweats going on then. That late one o'clock game. Uh, w- at at minimum, we'll be sweating out thousands of dollars yeah. of fantasy football stuff. Right. And and some some fun uh, some pick 'em uh, entries. But at maximum, who knows? <laughs> who knows what I what's, might what's be? What's sw- what's the max fun we're looking at here on a Sunday afternoon? Well, when you know, oh my, when you know you're gonna be on the air. You might just put in some extra. Max so Sweat. What's Max. Max Sweat? That's a good name for a bet detective. Max <laughs> Sweat, bet detective. Well, we've been that should de- be like my full name. Call it international. So we'll we'll uh, maybe something in the thousands. That's you. That's you making the long distance call. Yes. We call. We call the internet when you get the same game parlay up to like eight nine right. digits. Well, the, dial in internet. The bet detective's aware of the uh, the old calling cards. He knows oh, yeah. a little bit about international calls. Bet detective dials nine. That's how you used to have to get out of hotels. You yeah. dial nine. Nine first, yeah. then one, yeah. and you're and you're good to go. All right. All right, uh, enough messing around. Of course, also brought to you by Prize Fix, prizefix.com slash SGPN. Go in over there, get the 100% deposit match up to $100. Uh, so fun to put together uh, some of your favorite picks, uh, you know, just going more or less on your favorite fantasy projections. I mean, lots of more opportunities. Not only Elijah Moore, but it feels like everyone is uh, eating in this Jets Browns game. But uh, yeah, and, and it's cool because you can do the cross sport promo, of course. CJ with a couple ultimate curses uh, of players <laughs> on his on his reboot policy reads. Uh, if someone gets knocked out in the first half, uh, and I correct me if I'm wrong, I think Elijah Moore. I did give out Elijah Moore too, but I did not mention him for the injury. Okay, oh, okay. well, and I think he I think he hit it before he <laughs> oh, went yeah, he out. Hit, he so hit you're fine. you're probably you're probably good on that Absolutely. one. But the reboot policy is fun. Um, prevents you from pulling your hair out. If someone gets injured in the first half, you can reboot it uh, for football and basketball. Prize Fix is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Shout out to them. Just go to prizefix.com slash SGPN. Use code SGPN, get the 100% deposit match. Prize Fix, daily fantasy sports made easy. Let's get to it. Uh, a projection of mine that I nailed, Sean. Yes, I took that less on uh, Aaron Rodgers to play sixty-five percent oh, of snaps yes. at seven to one in the yes, preseason. Sir. Well, and finally Ryan, got paid out. I, I, I don't know why they I've, waited. I've been talking about it, uh, getting a little nervous on my Demar Hamlin co- uh, comeback player of the year because uh, Joe Flacco co- coming back, uh, not quite from the dead, but pretty damn close and mm. playing at an extremely high level. So if anyone can steal it from him, it might be Joe Flacco. Yeah, Joe. Uh, <laughs> hey, what a weird year! 
I love comeback player of the year. There's so many different interpretations of yes. what it, what you're coming back from. It's either. Like, it is. It's like gymnastics. Yeah. What is the Russian judge going to think <laughs> about? So I don't know how they're going to vote. Especially this year. So yeah, like, is it Demar Hamlin? Are you coming back from the dead? Are you Baker Mayfield? Yeah, Baker, are you just terrible? You know, Flacco. Are you coming out of retirement? Whatever it is, you, you could argue Baker has a better case than Joe Flacco in some yeah. regard. I mean, I the eighty percent of the dead money in the Bucks cap is crazy. I love my my dead comeback. They're player spending sixty six percent of their like sixty percent of the money they could be spending. That's <laughs> insane. I mean, I guess you could say the same with Cleveland with Deshaun so Watson's contract. My comeback player of the year ticket, which is dead. Is the, actually dead, or I mean, well, right now was <laughs> dead. It's a dead ticket. He he's only going to win the MVP, and that's Lamar Jackson. Oh, wow. and, but but it's dead for no one's talking about for coming back play because because he's coming back from his ah. own his own uh, terrible negotiations of <laughs> yeah. being his own agent. No, he's, he's he's coming back from a holdout. <laughs> yeah, he's, from his own holdout because he was the agent. Well, his mom his mom was involved. His mom that's was a not, financial not, advisor. Yeah. She, right. she definitely had some. <laughs> but involved. man, no one was even talking about him as a comeback. It's hilarious. Yeah, no, I mean, I, 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 I had the the thing. The people I bet on in the uh, the comeback player of the year. I, I think I have some Sam Darnold. I have some Matt Stafford. I have some John Mechie. I love. The I Sam have some Darnold's. Odell. And then and Sam Darnold just reassured you there. He would have won oh, MVP. Yes. Oh. if Purdy was hurt all year, oh, Darnold yeah. would be the MVP. One hundred percent. I need to post a picture of my Sam Darnold MVP that's ticket your best. so people understand <laughs> right. it's real. That's your best ticket, I think. E- even though it's a loss, that's a great ticket. I I, I agree. They, the like the process was sound. Thank you for noticing, yes, CJ. Absolutely. All right, first prop for me. Yeah, what do you got, Kramer? Let's go. Brissette has uh, one thing I've noticed when Brissette has come in the game is that Terry McLaurin's back involved mm. in the passing mm. attack. His yardage total is 52 and a half. I'm going over. This is solely based on the idea that per sets in, they have to realize like, I, it's cool that you have all these, these toys, but Terry McLaurin's a bona fide stud and he's just been underutilized this year. Uh, that game I'm referring to is when he came in for that half against the Rams and uh, they, they torched him six catches, mm. 141 yards and a touchdown only three for 50 last week against the jets, tougher matchup against sauce. This week, uh, the matchup softens up a little bit against the Niners, especially if they're if the Niners are up. Um, there's going to be opportunity. So Washington, um, again, it's funny. Every time I talk about these these matchups, it's uh, it's just 100 percent the uh, memory from the off season. Just memorize this whole yeah, fucking week right, seventeen right, for going nothing. Through a lot for nothing. Best ball for nothing. It's how's your bullshit. how's your finals team? Or, or oh, sorry. No, I, d- I don't have one, but thanks for noticing. Andrew, shout out to Andrew Rob. Uh, he does have yes. a team in the finals, has a chance to win. Yes, get it, Andrew. Uh, what what is first place? Best ball mini is three million. million. Yeah, three oh, million. that's awesome. all it is. I, I mean, one out of what four hundred people? That's pretty. Four hundred forty one. That's, that's awesome. pretty sick. Min sweat. cash is a thousand. I was gonna so. say, what's the evaluation of that ticket? They love telling you that Survivor. <laughs> it's well, it's worth it's have... worth nothing right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> and unfortunate for uh, Andrew, he was. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because everyone had Amari Cooper, but uh, Amari mm. Cooper not playing. It seemed like everyone that was in the finals right. had Amari Cooper for Best Ball Media, which, oh man, the he was the most owned player. So the people that didn't have Amari Cooper, you gotta be you gotta be so excited right now because yeah. that's a huge swing. He's been carrying your team, CJ. What's a prop you like for NFL Week Seventeen? Well, I don't know how it happens like this, but yeah, but sometimes we always, we're always correlating. There's always some kind of osmosis team. I like how you're with your McLaurin. To uh, Jacoby, yeah. help parlay off your guy uh, with Tyrod Taylor. Oh, oh, this man is oh, Darius oh. Slayton. This man is Darius Slayton, who I, uh, I almost gave going. out the ladder last week, but I didn't want to push it with Sean in <laughs> Philadelphia, <laughs> active, uh, working remote. I didn't yeah, really, I, I didn't want to upset anybody's holiday. That. You would have upset him. Yeah, and it did come through mainly because of one big bomb, but that's all it takes. You're the bomb expert, CJ, yeah, from the bomb, bomb line expert. bombs. So uh, Taylor likes Slayton. Slay, I have to throw to someone, obviously. Uh, his number's 33 and a half. You could play that for receiving yards. 18 and a half longest reception. I kind of like that better a little bit because if he does catch it, it is kind of a deep shot. Um, either one of those, 33 and a half. And uh, we'll get to the latter later on. You know how I like to do it. But, the, but just the rent and the same, same game script. They will be down to the Rams. They yes. will be having to throw. Tyrod Taylor is an NFL quarterback. Correct. Unlike. Uh, 
if he stays out. If he right. stays out, we might see Devito again. Watch your watch your mouth. The Rams the last five weeks. So yeah, you can you can play you can play that through the entire time. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and I put up a fake accent. And the Ra- and the Rams. The, the secondary is like, oh, geez. The last five games, third most receiving yards, second most touchdowns to receivers. Um, I think there's, I think there's saying has an, an easy over 50 yard game. It's uh, Prajut. Prajut. And the bruschetta. Here is a bruschetta. <laughs> bruschetta. Oh, I love a good bruschetta. Uh, what the fuck is a bruschetta? <laughs> Fucking gringo. That's me. I don't like to. I'm a potato eater, according to all the uh, anti-Irish, yeah, <laughs> anti-Irish uh, slander I've been getting over. Wow. These, no one cares about the Irish. Wait, no one cares. Yeah, exactly. What do they bring to this world? Mm. Soggy cabbage, potatoes, and delicious fatty, fatty meat. <laughs> delicious roast beef and cabbage, French fries. I guess French were involved somewhat there. Uh, for me, <laughs> I am sticking in that game. Give me Matthew Stafford over 257 and a half passing yards. He's gone over this last four weeks pretty easily. I mean, much like uh, Joe Flacco, just veteran quarterback dialed in. I think the um, I think the Giants are gonna have trouble covering Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. I couldn't really decide who is the guy that's gonna go off, but I do think there's some opportunities to throw on this Giants team. Uh, okay. <laughs> you're not I mean, feeling that. I, well, I, you know, I, I think they're, they're again, their secondary has has slowly uh, come along mm. and sand some botched coverages from uh, Flot. Again, the, AJ Brown got shut down by Deontay Banks. So mm. that when Deontay Banks was out there, he had like two catches for 15 yards. Oh, they weren't focusing on him, but he ended up for with six for 80. When Deontay Banks left the game, he had four catches for like 60 something yards. That yeah. tells me that's that. You know the coverage was working. Again, I, I'm with you. I think there's some opportunity. AJ yes. Banks. I mean AJ Banks. AJ Brown did not hang around to give commentary to say if no. that's true or not. AJ well, Brown was. Well, that's f- interesting, right? Oh, that's why is he losing? Discipline? Stormed out. It's that old. It's that old Miss Diva wide receiver <laughs> behavior. Oh, not, come on, not you that, guys. Not, you that guys, that it was, not that it was Christmas or anything. You guys wish you had a diva receiver. Ryan. You <laughs> wish you had <laughs> someone that would have the play to at least back up some diva material. They had one. They shipped him to Cleveland. That that doesn't play <laughs> Dar- in New York. Darius Slayton has been on the Giants for five seasons. Right. How many seasons has he led the team in receiving yards? Five. Mm. He's only not led the team once. So this, the, the, <laughs> That's incredible. It's incredible. So, um, yeah, he's the diva, but he's not a diva. Yeah, okay. they're bad at getting divas. A like Galladay, what a horrible oh, diva uh, purchase, uh, you uh, know. Odell, that. But ru- Odell was a diva. Oh yeah, F- fully they, rock hard when he would run slants. That they, was <laughs> a different. That was a different time. Then there was a trip on a boat. Things, were, things have never been the same. <laughs> they really haven't. Kramer, what's another prop you like? All right, um, whiny ass Mahomes. <laughs> Wham! My team sucks. Wham. They shouldn't call that. Travis doesn't want to hang out anymore because he's hanging out with Taylor Swift. Ah, wah! Tyree kills telling me I wasn't a good teammate. He's gonna Showtime take the ball, Mahomes. and he's gonna <laughs> run himself. We just saw it in the last game. Mm, Wani yeah. Mahomes. How many carries did he have? Ten. Oh, yes. Wow. That's that was that's gonna be a career high. Over four yeah. and a half rushing attempts. I'm going right back to the well. That he, was awesome. He, his teammates are failing him. He's gonna try to do it himself. And in a matchup that we've seen the Cincinnati team do the same exact thing that the Raiders. I almost called them Oakland. That the Raiders, Raiders. just into him, which is frustrate the right. shit out of them. They are going to allow him to run. So running will be there. Uh, I took the attempts over yards. For no real good reason other than it seemed. Well, a, and then you can always get safer. those. It, it, you can always mm. get a kneel down. Although I do yes. think Bengals are going to be well, in the mix for that game. But you get the you get the backdoor hedge of kneel down attempts because you know Mahomes will be out mm. there. Oh, I'm still mad about that Super Bowl where he he lost the uh, <laughs> rushing yards by running backwards on the kneel cry, down. Cry Fuck baby, you, crybaby Mahomes Brilliant. will 100 uh, percent one way or another. That's why I love I love what the uh, inter the non interference call versus the Packers, which he was fine with. When he's like, you know what? I'm all for the letting the players play. <laughs> the refs being trying to be, you know, the league voice. First of all, since when, yes. Mahomes? You are always called for the flag. The, the the Monday night game versus Philly. He was in the air, still yeah. didn't hit the ground. He's like, hey, ref, arms out to the ref, looking for the 15 yards. Let alone the end of the Come Super Bowl. On! Little self awareness again. Right. The theory of uh, you know of feel sorry for Pat because his brother and his uh, wife are crazy. Well, sometimes well, I mean, you you make the, a bed, you the, enjoy the, sleeping. The, the 
best, the person on the Chiefs who's having the best year is Patrick Mahomes' brother. Because we've we've completely forgotten yeah. about that guy. Well, it's all about Travis know, Kelsey, the drama on the team. Uh, Kelsey's mm-hmm. hickey, like the Taylor Swift stuff. Taylor Swift being friends with Patrick Mahomes, like the 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 his brother who was like um, make you know, us forget about indicted his indicted on some charges. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he like he put, he he forced like make it out on some chicken. I, bar. I don't want to say anything offensive, but my first take there was like I. Like if he's kissing a girl, it was just like a shit, like a, a gay guy at a bar thing. I don't think this was like an assault. Uh, it's a prank. It's a prank. He doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that's. No, a I mean, if you had to guess what team, um, no, it, it wouldn't be my first guess. That case is still pending. Isn't yes. It? Yeah. So, oh, sure. so there's still evidence to come out. I heard, yeah, I heard a rumor. I said that uh, Taylor Swift made made Kelsey buy another house, or they bought another. Like, the oh, person was like, "There's million dollars." Goes, yeah, this isn't gonna do. <laughs> now for this couple of seasons, and they bought this community. That's not even a gated community. She just bought it out. This is the commu- gated community. Now. I love how that's no- hilarious. I, yeah. I just love how normal Taylor is. <laughs> Tay Tay, what? Tay Tay. All right, CJ, what do you got? Give us another prop. I'll segue off that. The Russian quarter. I always love a Russian quarterback, and. uh yeah, see. My, my fantasy team hitting a little championship week. I was best in, of luck. I was in, uh, thank you very much. I was counting on uh, Nick Mullins, Minnesota Mullins it over, and uh, apparently four hundred yards, a couple touchdowns, not enough for them. <laughs> that last interception he had was so bad. Like you know what? Fuck it. We're benching you. Yeah, that's this, crazy. That's how ugly that pass Outta was, here. and I kind <laughs> of agree with it. So in subs, Jaron Hall, the BYU rusher, and he was who's a last we saw him, he was about to. Rush for about 200 yards versus Atlanta before he went to the end. The yeah. Oh yeah, went to the end zone head first, as you called it, Sean. The <laughs> yes. worst possible way. <laughs> he got he we had Jared Hall <laughs> right. first touchdown yeah. and anytime touchdown. Everything. He's about to go in and just leads with his head and Le- gets knocked out. Led with that brain. Of oh, his. I forgot about that. <laughs> but he's in, what he is though is a great <laughs> rushing quarterback, at least in college. They yeah. put his number out of 26 and a half rushing yards. Oh, I mean, boy. this is this is a Cleveland. Yes, this is a Cleveland Brown Jet situation. First quarter, you can cash this in. This feel, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, ladder chatter. That is ladder chatter. There was no ladder of numbers available. That's Sean, why I Sean, did, no, uh, that's why I'm, I'm not noting make it, this. But, no, but noted. Yeah. The Beeson show, please. Yeah, tune into the Beeson uh, show where I give out uh, <laughs> CJ's pick. You can take that. I'll be on the Beeson show, and I will not give yes. out a Jaron Hall ladder. All right, <laughs> perfect. Um, and and also tune into the uh, the the uh, the uh, New Year's Eve stream because oh. we'll save our Sunday night first touchdown bets for that because I think that'll Ooh. be fun to give those out and maybe even some first touchdown bets for the uh, late games. Yeah, as well. Plenty of live. All Three. I will. I uh, I promise to oh. have a first and touchdown. Being in there. a uh, the state of Pennsylvania, I probably put in too many uh, first touchdown parlays because <sighs> and and got. I probably would have won. Uh, what was the early game before before um, the Chargers? Uh, what do you mean? I'm blanking. Uh, on that. Uh, what was that? Saturday. Oh, the Steel, bang- Bengals. Steelers. Bengals. Yeah. Steelers Bengals. Yeah. Okay. So if Tanner Hudson would have had the first touchdown, <laughs> I would have won 12 grand off a uh, $5 free bet because I had like Easton right. stick first yeah. touchdown oh parlayed God. with Tanner Hudson. All um, those white there's, guys yeah, catching passes say, that there, weren't Tanner. There's not a, there's not a bigger Sean green parlay than a Tanner uh, Hudson. Easton you got stick some, you got some white uh, oh, sprinter was, from Princeton beautiful. out there. Like who the fuck is this guy? That's not a Hudson and Benedict Antle saying any last touchdowns for the early games. Yeah. We Kramer and I will be giving out our last touchdown bets for uh, hmm. on the Vison show. So tune into that. Uh, you can always get the sheet or the, just hit us up. Yeah, if you're I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's, it's pretty available. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're pick sluts. You want our picks. You can get them <laughs> uh, next up for me. Ooh, bunch of stuff. I like here. I'll go to uh, Rashid Shaheed mm. over 30 and a half receiving yards. I like the bucks. Don't get me wrong. Um, Adam Rosenberg was texting me. He said, this is has ladder potential. I didn't use him as my ladder, but I I see the case on it. I mean, Shahid, he's been hitting over this thirty and a half a bunch. The Bucks are very susceptible to the deep stuff, um, and you know the, they lead the league in yards allowed to the receivers. The the Colts game, he put up one fifty three. There's certainly a world where he goes off, and all it takes is one deep ball from Shahid. So thirty and a half receiving yards uh, feels very doable. I mean, his longest catch prop is probably. Not that far off. It's probably like mid twenties. So I, I like this over. I peaked at the uh yeah, no, I 
I, I don't know what I was about to say. I got, I got, distra- I, you peaked right there. I got distracted you, at the game. You, I was, you peaked at that thought right there. We can't, we can't watching football and talking about football is hard to do. Slope side saying, time. if you're taking Shahid, just ladder it or he's either bombing or nothing. I looked probably at the lobby. That's what I was going to say. Probably something to that. Um, but I'll, I'll just stick with this simple over for now. Kramer, what's another? That's just a good advice in life in any way. If you're going to take it, ladder it. What yes. are we, I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> exactly. You know? Uh, well, Kramer, what are, what's other stuff you like on the slate? Uh, I kind of broke it down. when We were talking about the the game itself, but the Patriots, I I do think, are going to be tough to run against. So I want to fade James Cook coming off some heat under seventy and a half rushing yards. Mm. It, it's not exactly a number that he's crushed consistently. He has had right. some kind of spike weeks, and I think the the recency bias has has drawn this number yeah. up. It's the same as it's been the last couple of weeks. I'm going under. I think the Pats can completely bottle up the run. Like I said, the Pats are more. I think about it, the Pats are beating the Bills this weekend. Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, Bills mafia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, how often oh at the God. end of the year it's like oh. A crappy team from division is playing mm. the team that just needs to win to be in the playoffs. Yeah, basically, Bills set them. I, I guess what got me slightly off of it was that uh, the they Pats already, already beat. Yeah, them. I was just gonna say you're looking, you're looking at a sweep here. Yeah, all these Pats. Uh, I, I would you be amazing. I don't know if they. I mean, again, the 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 Bills' recent success has come when they've been running the ball. Yeah, okay. and the the Pats are if they do one thing at a very high level, it stop the runs. So yeah, I mean, if you like, the, if you jo- like James Cook rushing, if you game. like Cook, I think receiving yards is, yeah, is that's probably what, if I was going to take an over, it would be that. So I, I, looked, the rushing I looked at the combo 92 and a half uh, for the under, but I decided mm. the rushing was a, was a safer bet. Cause to your point, he leaks out on a little screen pass or two. That, that would be a hard, horrible mm. way to lose CJ. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to an old faithful of ours. And that's who comes up on a show. And that's Gerald Everett. Mm. Mm. Jerry. I love I, I, world. I love everything about this Denver Charger game. First of <laughs> all, I love I love state of in there. The colors, yes. like everything about. I it. love this game. You know Electric. what I mean? Yeah, Dick Enberg should be calling this Sunday night with Merlin Olson, uh, <laughs> Gerald Ever Easton Stick. This quarterback matchup is now fantastic, and uh, Easton Stick loves Ever. His last three games, when yep. when Easton Stick's been in there, he's been averaging over forty yards a game, twenty four targets, which leads the team. There are no what? There's nobody left there. These are the last of the gang. Keenan I'm, opted out. Keenan opted out. Austin Eckler can't. I don't, he, if he makes a trip, I'd be I'd be shocked. He's kind of like when uh, David Spades last year in Saturday Night Live. <laughs> when it's it, rough. Yeah, What's when, he doing? Like when everyone else left, like Farley and Sandler left and Rock. He's like, what am I doing here? Like with this new <laughs> cast, you know, get me out of here. He just did some bastardized version of the Hollywood Minute. And um, so it's going to be Gerald Everett in Denver. Fourth most yards yeah, to the tight end. Bad. They're terrible versus the tight end, especially in the last five games. Uh, it's a it's a kind of a number four and a half, four and a half. I think it goes over forty and a half. Joe. Yeah, I I um the numbers aren't out yet for him, but the uh, the touchdown props in that game are interesting too because mm. Denver leads the league, uh, most touchdowns allowed to the tight end with ten. Yeah, absolutely. So if Parham plays, I think he's interesting at a good price. Mm-hmm. You saw Stone Smart had a twenty three yard catch, got him <laughs> into the red zone. Uh, he's going to be almost double digits for a touchdown. So I think those are kind of interesting. Triple them up. Um, we'll see once those prices get out there. But uh, yeah, l- the the tight end certainly live mm. against the Denver Broncos. For me, I hate this team, but um, this is a smash spot for them. Smash! Uh, Commander second in the league in receiving yards allowed. Give me Debo Samuel over fifty seven and a half. Mm. How do you how do you limit Brock Purdy throwing four touchdowns? You just throw those tunnel screens to Debo Samuel. He's going to break them off uh, and get a tons of yards after the catch. I, I think this is fairly easy against this Washington defense that's not really super interested in tackling. So number felt trappy. I, I looked I looked at this too. Like how do you want to attack? The, like is he real? I think you do want to attack the the deeper part of the field. So I that's what gave me pause. Maybe, but, but the do you really want to? Do you want to get? I think you want to give Purdy some easy stuff. Get his confidence back. I mean, he got benched, quote unquote, because of a stinger. But uh, you throw <laughs> you four picks. He came out of the game because he was hurt, Sean. Yeah, and that's why he cried when uh, when <laughs> Kyle Shanahan told him he had a stinger and wasn't coming back. And he said he said it was his first stinger ever in his career. No, but it, how is that he had a stinger the week before? There's something weird going on with Brock Purdy. All right. Oh my you can't. God. Well, I sh- hope he's doing all right, right? We've talked about this before. Shanahan and uh, Lynch seem to have horrible injury luck every year. Yeah, wonder why. Hmm. Hmm. 
Conspiracy theory? Not a conspiracy theory. Accurate facts. <laughs> I do love the over the top Brock her Purdy hate after one bad game though. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. That oh. was led, led mostly by me, but yes. <laughs> Look at his. That face. was just in the market though. He Look was minus two dollars when the MVP. Yeah. I was twelve to one. Yeah. It's well, hilarious. They're putting Flacco ahead of him for MVP because it was one game. You can't throw four interceptions in Why week not? sixteen and win the MVP. I know because that's the one game these reporters watch. It, it's recency. It's the stu- <laughs> it's unfortunate, right. but that's the way it works. It's the game Stephen A. Smith saw, <laughs> so that's what we're doing. All right, I uh, gotta give an interception prop out. Yes. Yeah. Why is Geno Smith's interception prop plus money? Mm. Mm. Playing the Steelers, Sean. Yeah. All like over the, way the, play- the Steelers. Well, and Steelers are a little bit. I, I thought they were a little healthier than they were, but it sounds like Mink is out. A couple other guys on the defensive side, and now it sounds like Pickett isn't starting. They're going to go back to Mason Rudolph. Yeah. So I don't know what the hell is going on with their injury stuff, but oh, it's week seventeen. They're, they're, they're yeah. the, the the wind blows and 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 recording coaching. the show on a Wednesday used to be fine. The injury yeah. report was yes. out. You had a pretty good idea who was playing or not. Mm. There. You know, concussions. People just played through all of them. Yeah, uh, it was a simpler time. But it's now it's now time. it's getting wonky. Uh, Gino, uh, Ben, Ben, uh, relatively uh, unclean when it comes to throwing interceptions this year, and really against the Steelers, I think that the, they're going to want to. I mean, they're going to see a, a matchup they can attack, and so uh, Gino Smith. Most of the quarterbacks this week that you would pair with Geno Smith in terms of like uh, willingness to put the ball into trouble, uh, combined with uh, just skill level, minus one forty, minus one thirty. He's plus one ten. Uh, he's the guy I circled this week. Geno throws a pick. Steve, maybe we, we tie it up with a uh, Steelers defensive Ooh. touchdown. Yeah, juice that guy up. I do like. Uh, I, I like that move of taking the if you're gonna take. The guy to throw an interception also tie in defensive touch. Or really, yeah. it's more if you're gonna play defensive touchdown, why not also parlay it with the quarterback to throw an interception? Yeah, fade the fumble. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be that same play either. You right. Know? And I also like to see what quarterback like Gino, a lot of people are saying he got satisfied now that he got paid for the first time. Who's gonna chase down that interception? Gino no. Gino's two two steps and a and a chin strap is ripped <laughs> off. You know? DK. He's not going to the corner. Let's go. Send right. the DK. <laughs> like Levis, he's heading to the corner. You know what I mean? And oh. Richardson, Richardson. Levis, yeah. Levis, I mean, that one rushing play where he like left the, <laughs> right. He did he did like the LA helicopter on like a third and seven yeah. in midfield. Like no reason to do it. It was right. it made me like Will Levis. Um, and Will, I was probably really bummed he wasn't involved in the Duke Mayo's bowl. Follows his, yeah, seriously, mm. follows his free throw for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, what do you got? What's what's Ooh. next up for the good folks? Well, I'm going. I'm, I'm I'm looking at some of the juice. So this is our fourth one, right? It's our fourth one. Yes. Right, good. I think I'll save the other ladder for the V's. And I don't no, know. No. Teaser. teaser. I like it. Teaser. So this is just a normal, regular, solid play. Just because I talked about that game, that Chargers Broncos game, and I just want any part of the visually pleasing pleasure so nice. of it. Yeah, it's, it's, I, Broncos jersey, beautiful. I'm gonna be watching it all week. And Javante Williams, what I like mm. about what I like, I'm gonna go with this combined rushing and receiving mm. because you have the new quarterback in there and uh action movie star Jason Statham, they're a quarterback. <laughs> and so the so the check downs will be in effect. So his rushing is fifty eight and a half, but it's combined to seventy five and Ooh, a half. Big number. And he does get it is it's a very big number. But with the Chargers, Mid. they have the, the last five weeks, six most rushing uh six most uh Combined yards to running backs in uh, in the in entire league. So defense still sucks. The defense still is absolutely awful. The, and I mean, they might have the worst roster in the league without Keenan Allen and Justin Herbert when you put them out there. And this is a this is a big uh, f- get right spot for Denver, as you were saying to me off screen. Sean Sean Payton's motivation, yeah, to make it look like Russell Wilson, yeah, is, was yes. oh. was the problem. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Javante Williams w- will be that safety blanket that Statham needs. So it's going to be a lot of running towards him and checkdowns to him and dumps off. So seventy five and a half combined, I believe. Jason Statham terrible. strikes me as the kind of guy that if we ever saw him actually throw a football, we, yeah. we would be embarrassed. For right. Him. I mean, we have this like, <laughs> all right, you can kick my ass, but you, you really can't throw a football. So oh, we fun. got, we got to track down um, the, uh, we got to track down that actor. Oh. Do you remember he went viral <laughs> for not being able to throw the football yes. and then like he had to defend himself right. and uh, the, ca- the camera was in the way yeah, or whatever the whole like, thing they told me don't throw it yeah. that way. Right. 
Just, um, just say you're a theater major. It's fine. We accept it. You don't have to act like you're a don't man. Don't throw it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no one's saying that to right. anyone ever. <laughs> Whatever you do, just uh, if don't. anything, they're saying to the like to someone who throws like yeah. you. Don't throw it that way. How about that story though? Speaking of the Russell Wilson benching, the, how they brought it up to him right after he beat the Chiefs, like basically in the yeah. locker room. Yeah. Hey, greatest victory of your uh, career here in Denver. Way to go, Russ. Also, you make way too much money, yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> he. You either restructure this or you're gone. Yeah. Uh, Hilarious. God told him not to restructure. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame Russell Wilson. Fuck you. It's not my, it's not my fault you paid me too much. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> you know? It, 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 it may have wrecked his reputation forever, but yeah, uh, it's not your, his fault. Get your money, Russ. You ready for a ladder, Sean? Well, I, I have my fourth. Oh, you you, you haven't part. given out a fourth prop? No, yet? I'm. Oh. I'm you know, kindly waiting my turn over here. It's very nice of you, this gentlemen. I think he's looked uh, pretty sharp throwing the football. I realize they lost. Uh, game got away from him. They were, you know, tough spot for them. But Jake Browning did smash his passing yards as he's done in the last four out of his five starts. His passing yards total is two twenty eight and a half, mm. um, and he's covered this by a wide margin. Four of his last five games. The only time he didn't was his first start, and he still had. 227. I mean, Ryan, if you had to guess, how many yards do you think Jake Browning has thrown for this season? Oh, his average is pretty good. It's like he's probably north of 258 game. I'd say it's higher than uh, MVP Lamar Jackson's total oh, yards, man. passing he's, yards. He's thrown for 1,583 yards right. in five games. Yeah. Are we worried he's gonna? Is he close to Lamar, Sean? Because we do have a bet on <laughs> right. Lamar to win. We the, do. We what was that? It was like nine to one. Or Twelve to one. 12 Lamar to one. Jackson to lead the division in passing yards. <laughs> And yeah, you that's, think a about that's in jeopardy. <laughs> that's for sure. Jeopardy. Is it really? No. He's got Ryan, like, come on. He's got like 2,200. No way. Something really? like that. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Fuck you! I've been counting that as a no, win. He has thirty-three fifty. I'm kidding. I'm okay. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ryan, was, Ryan was like, "Look, I, I, come on! I already had that in the he win is, pile." He is though. Like he is like fifteenth in the league in passing. Dude, yards how was that though, a twelve to one? Yeah, fifteenth in the league in passing, and we're yeah. gonna cash a twelve well, there to was one. A, yeah, there was a guy named Joe Burrow, but yeah, he got I mean, hurt. when we when Pickett we talked got about hurt. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Pickett was. I don't think every Deshaun game. Watson got Deshaun hurt. Deshaun Watson, PJ <laughs> <laughs> Walker got hurt. I mean, Deshaun Watson. What's and Flacco Kenny at? What's Flacco after this game? <laughs> you got to put it up oh. six hundred in this game. <laughs> yeah, Flacco could lead the uh, AFC. Flacco's goes up to thirteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's four games. No, that's without this game. That's amazing. What? That's without he had thirteen coming into this game. Yeah. He had three hundred in the first half. Wow. No, no. Without this game, he has thirteen hundred yards this you're year. You're in now. You are in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I mean, if there's a couple more games, we'd be sweating this out. So that's this hilarious. is Browning's three thirty-five. All right. Uh, three twenty-four, two seventy-five, three fifty-four, two twenty-seven. That was the only one he didn't get that first game. I. Oh I, man. They like letting him throw the ball. Um, yeah, I, I think they're going to be able to throw a little bit on the chiefs. If you think, if you think the chiefs are going to be able to put up some points and move the ball, they, they could be playing from behind here. Um, yeah, I, I, I think this is a good spot for him. Uh, unfortunately, and Jamar chase already talking shit. As I said, he will be playing on Sunday. Nice. You did report that. I did report that, Ryan. I reported that yesterday. No, I know. That's why I said you reported. They, that. they asked him what stands out the, with the chief secondary. He said nothing. That sounds like oh, a guy who's going to get a hundred receiving yards. Shit. Yeah. Come on. And even if he doesn't do it, it creates tons of opportunities for T. Higgins, Tanner, uh, all the rest of the gang. So yes. Ladder. Oh, I love it. Am I allowed to talk about a ladder? Yep. Yeah. Well. We do have to do the ladder sound effect, and uh, CJ does the ladder reveal, Ryan. It's All like right, let's go. it's like this is your let's first see. episode of the I mean, show. My God, what are we? All right, let him plug about? in his lights. <laughs> Here you go, holiday ladder. <laughs> what do we do? There you go. What's up? Oh, do I? You want me to get in there? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And then it flips through. Oh, All right, wow. wait. Got, it's like Transformers. If you've been following, look at the um, holiday, the holiday ladder. So I, much spirit. I was gonna take them off, but I think like holiday Christmas lights in jet. Um, in general, they're really too tangled. I can't get them up before yeah, without no, yeah, breaking just them up. Throw them in the bin yeah. and pick them out next year. Well, yeah. Uh, just quick update: If you've been following the story mm -hmm. of us mentioning ladders and us getting free offers to review um, different home equipment. 
uh, and me following up on them. So we got an offer to review an extension to court. I said, we're interested hmm. uh, exclamation point. They wrote back. Uh, so basically what happens is these, these places are scraping our YouTube channel. They see the word ladders okay. and they automatically fire off the email. And then this is the conversation after I said, we're definitely interested <laughs> in reviewing their extension cord on air, which I definitely will do if they give us a free extension cord uh, quote. Hi there. Thanks for your reply. It's an honor to work with you. By the way, this product is specifically designed for use with RVs. Do you have a RV to help shoot this collaboration video? <laughs> Looking forward to your reply. I mean, have a great day. Best uh, regards. Do, we, do we have do we have real value? We sure, sure do. I, I can get we have an plenty RV. of RV. I can get I, an RV. I wrote back no, but happy to take delivery on an RV as well. <laughs> that was three days ago. I have not heard back. I, <laughs> I can, you know, we need an RV. I can get us an RV. Yeah. All right, if, if it gets us a free extension cord, sure. J Mark's got an RV, right? Yeah, J Mark, you want to? Yeah, did he finish building it. that thing yet? That that's a real oh, man. Yeah. That'd be a legit segment. Have hey, J Mark, what are you up to this weekend? Well, first yeah. I got to plant a hundred trees, then right. I'm going to go build an RV. Okay, now you got to oh, review fuck. this extension cord as well. Yeah. <laughs> I got to move some Costco boxes in from my porch. Slope side in the YouTube chat saying, "Jesus, no, no one told me CJ was an engineer." <laughs> <laughs> I, just fast. That's all. Laddering. Yeah. YouTube.com slash sports game and podcast. Amazing visual there. Ryan, mm. uh, it seems like you're chomping at the bit to uh, toss this ladder on the side. What do you well, got? I told you I started looking into the uh, contract incentives. Always a good oh, way to yeah, see who's going to get yeah. what down the stretch. Dan Campbell would say he's uh he's built a play, a player's coaching staff made up of former players. Uh, he himself was a tight end. Understand, seems to respect the significance and the importance of the history of the game, and he's now grooming a young stud at, at tight end. Who, while it may seem like 300 yards would be a lot, 301 yards in the next two games would get him over the Mike Ditka hump, Ooh. setting a new all-time rookie receiving record. Which the fact that Mike Ditka holds that record from 1961 still is insane. I think there's going to be a little bit of a concerted effort, win, lose, or draw, to get Sam Laporta going in this game. Sam Laporta's base, the first step, as CJ would put it, it's only 50 and a half. Ah, oh, that's a step. Not we're gonna we're gonna to jump over 60. We're gonna go right to 70, 205, that's 80 a- plus 310, 90 plus 475, and 100 is plus 650. And I won't advise you step on that yellow top step where you're supposed to put your screwdriver in your <laughs> drill. But if you want to step up there, 110 plus 1000. Wow. Wow. Could be a shootout. Didn't seem too ridiculous. Oh and uh, I convinced myself that Dan Campbell wants Sam Laporta to break the record. Cause that's how you really truly build legacy. <laughs> 300 yards in two games. Can Sam Laporta get there? Yeah, three hundred yards in two games would be a lot. Yeah, but you need like a buck fifty to, like, to even cons- to break Dicka's record yeah. in, in the seventeenth game would be the most disrespectful. Oh, well, and, and, and it's a bear sport. too. So you just stop, like right. a lot of the, a lot of demons. Get but that extra out. game, all these records are being broken. Asterisk, that extra one, you know, for sure. But Dicka probably did it like in ten, right? <laughs> How did that happen? I know. And 1961. I, I think back then you just you just uh, said your own re- your statistics, and he just bullied them into it. Wait, you had how many yards last game? Four hundred. Put it's it like it's put like, it down, sweetheart. It's, it's like, like golf. You fill out your own scorecard. Yeah, right. Put it down, cupcake. It's like when the Browns were playing like the man. YMCA and considering it a win. Uh, this is annoying because the price isn't out. But uh, as soon as it is, I'm firing oh, on this man. ladder. Give me Lil. Jordan Humphrey, mm. Kai. Whenever I say what? little Jordan Humphrey, I think a little penny. Yeah, uh, from the Chris Rock commercials, little Jordan Humphrey. Oh, I was thinking little John <coughs> with that voice. No, <laughs> was that what? Your, I was just gonna say, was that your little John? What that was impression? my what? Yeah, that was amazing. You're going little Jordan. What? What? It really sounded like you're just asking him what. <laughs> was, Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on. What? What? <laughs> Here's the rapper, little John. What? Little Penny, uh, little music Jordan. was wild back then. <laughs> what? What? Say what? Little Jordan Humphrey. We when when back in quarterbacks. <laughs> How easy is to get that sound by too? We're just completely off the rails with this. When when back of quarterbacks come in, they always have a guy that they had a connection with in oh, the preseason 100%. that they look to. Uh, s- to use scout, and scout team stack. I I went through a number of preseason articles. It seems like by all accounts, little Jordan Humphrey is Jared Stidham's guy. So I will be riding the little Jordan Humphrey receiving yards ladder. 
Um, and and Sean Payton likes little Jordan Humphrey. So if there's anything that's going to happen in these last two games, guys that Sean Payton uh, like are going to see playing time. They're going to see fucking targets. They're going to see touchdowns. Yes. I mean, I like everything with little Jordan Humphrey, but the receiving yards ladder in particular, okay. I think is pretty <laughs> spicy. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. That was awesome. And I was sitting on it. And I was laughing knowing that it was coming. That was amazing. (laughs) Uh, I'll never forget this spring break. We're in college, and and a buddy of mine, very much like uh, pear shaped, uh, uh, bust into bust into the bedroom. Uh, I might have been in there with a lady. Sure. And he just he he screams as loud as he can. Skate so much they call me Billy Ocean, and then just. (laughs) Fucking disappears and like we had to go like we couldn't fight. It was this whole thing like that's turned, hilarious. But yeah, um, well, man, <laughs> J- little John, music. I mean, that was music. That that was we'll a, a better time. To than music. There was music going on in that motel room in Daytona. Yeah. It sounds bumping, like bumping. with the uh, it might have been Panama City, the Vatech Panama City Spring Break. <laughs> you want to talk about low rent Pan- low rent Spring Break? You check out Panama City. The hokey blokies down All there. All right, you're forcing it on me. I'll tell a quick Panama City story. Yes. I've, never, I've never told this before. We get to this shitty motel. We're <laughs> it's staying. There's a ladder Spring well, Break story. Yeah, we, yeah didn't you, see we're, this we're part of line. We stayed. We we st- we went to like a Walmart, and you know we don't have a mic. Microwave or a refrigerator, but we have a cooler. We get a whole bunch of pizza rolls to to like to eat, to eat low rent. We get to this shitty motel. We're staying at a motel mm. because the hotel was like in this horrible part of town. Yeah. I I had nothing to do with booking it. We we get checked in. We're immediately we come outside. We're like, all right, there's like people coming by and like they're like this is interesting. Like you see like party people are in a, a party mood. And so the but my one buddy, the same skeet so much guy, runs across <laughs> the street to buy. <laughs> Billy Ocean buys a bunch of beads. He's like, I know, I know oh, what's yeah. going on here. We're Genius. gonna, we're yeah. gonna go fishing. He, yeah, he was yeah. a little bit of a hillbilly. He's, we're okay. gonna go fishing. Comes back with all these beads, and he has this like, we're like, dude, what the fuck did you just go spend on beads? He's like, don't worry about it. Mm. <laughs> he must have spent like forty dollars on, you know, some of those like big balls beads. Yes. Gives us some. He flags down this this car girls. And they they come in. This girl comes out. She's like, "What you want for them beads?" <laughs> you know what I want. For he's them just beads. like, you know, he's not a guy that was hooking up with a ton of like super attractive chicks. And he's just like, oh, uh. and she goes, "You want to see my pussy?" <laughs> and he just he just hands her the beads and then goes back oh into the room God. and goes eat some of those Tostino pizza rolls cold. Oh uh, that, that, that's, that's Panama oh, City in a nutshell. Eat, eat something else. There. <laughs> oh, no, no. no, no. She, she took the beads and left. Yeah. Fucking cold blooded. Wow. She want to see some pussy. Well, he, she knew he wasn't about it. That's why uh, uh, Ryan, I just remember Ryan, break it, break it, pear, pear shaped Billy Oak. Breaking news: The uh, no uh, points scored in a quarter cashes oh, nice somehow job. in this game. What? Uh, that was not mine. I I think that was either Jared. You or Jared. It yeah. wasn't mine. <laughs> uh, no points any uh, any quarter gonna cash in my forty seven x parlay. Hell Timothy's yeah. Timothy saying, bro, I appreciate you guys. Cash two D Gen par Lizzie's oh, on the Browns Jets game with you guys. Uh, this is uh, a bonkers Thursday night performance. A real cash fest. It's crazy. Is that game a final? I only see the helmet and whiskey here. No, uh, no. There's still eleven thirty nine left. Oh, that you, was the end of the third. But you missed yeah, so there scoreless was, third. Yes, yeah, scoreless oh, wow. third. You missed no nothing. That Don't coming. worry. That, that's you awesome. Literally missed nothing. <laughs> nothing occurred. I love it. <laughs> uh, before we get to CJ's ladder and our DJ's only prop bets, shout out to Hall of Fame bets. When you're putting together a DJ's only parlay or any parlay, you want that thing optimized. That's why you gotta head over to hofbets.com. Use the promo code SGPN. You get fifty percent off your first month, download the hall of fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Uh, and then again, they got you covered for parlays, player props, game lines, great tool for research makes it way easier uh, than just digging through box scores, mm. spending a crap ton of time. So yes, hofbets.com or download the hall of fame bets app. Use the promo code S G P N uh, slope side pointing out terrible night for big gambling. It is they're They're rolling over in their graves, right? Yes. Now. Uh, CJ and her money graves. That's what they're living over in. Um, yes, well, I'll finish the ladder here. Uh, holiday ladder engineering. I'll bring it back up there. And uh, since it is the last week of the, my favorite week in between Christmas and New Year's, yeah, sad inertia. You don't really know what's going on. You don't know if the, what I mean, day is yeah, it. People Do are coming I have in to work? and out. Are exactly. they picking up the trash? <laughs> right. <laughs> is everything uh, on the up and up? It is not. So we're gonna go to that uh, Philly Arizona game. Mm. Um, possible big lead blowout situation. Philly's 
run the damn ball. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell has been getting a lot of action lately. He's been looking pretty good. And he has been looking good. I mean, I've been killing him for a while, but he's turned it around. Yep. And his number is very low at 21 and a half rushing yards. Now, this is a game script game as well. Now, Arizona also, the last five games, most points to running backs and seven touchdowns Mm. in fantasy. And in eight, this is a fun stat, too, that I saw. 18 times they've had 18 running backs have scored have been in the top 24 against Arizona, which means Sean, you know, they obviously haven't played 18 games yet. <laughs> yeah. Multiple yeah. running backs Double. during <laughs> the same game has been scheduled. And, and who does more running back company than Philadelphia? We're okay. trying to get gain well in there. And the best thing is about this 21 and a half is a very low ladder start. So we'll, our first rung and in the holiday season, since it's the last time, and I use this last time, the, the stale candy oh, canes. Oh, yes. We're going to put the stockings up on the ladder. So we put the first candy cane ho, up there. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. We'll lock that in at 40 yards at plus 295 for Canewell. And now, before Santa comes, you have to climb up that bunk bed. You put that candy cane up <laughs> on that <laughs> second rung <laughs> up there, and you tell your little sister to keep it quiet, or Santa's going to pass right over the house. Plus five fifty for fifty yards for Kenneth Gainwell. And Gainwell is a guy who can obviously he did it last week versus the Giants. He broke one off for twenty yeah. for twenty two. Hit his prop on one run, on one rush. And if they and if they didn't uh, run into each other, butt fumble and kick off return. <laughs> kickoff who that knows was wild. who knows how much running would have happened in the second half if they didn't have to actually play the game. And now we top this ladder off. We meet Santa at the chimney. We pop off the fireworks. We drop the ball for New Year's. Whatever you want to do. Ryan Seacrest style, 60 yards, a very doable for Canewell. Oh my God. If you were in Alabama, you might uh, fake the murdering of Santa Claus. If you want to have a big <laughs> that, was a crazy. that was a crow. That was definitely poison the tree vibes from that <laughs> Auburn fan. Uh, anyway, so we top off this. We drop the ball on New Year's, 60 yards at 10 to 1, plus 1,000 for oh Kenneth. My God. For Kenneth Gainwell to get a measly 60 yards versus the Arizona Cardinals at home in a game where they're double digit favorites, where they will be running the ball a lot versus a uh, team that can't stop the run. I'm in. I'm in. Easy money. I'm in. You Easy think money. uh you think Seacrest will be given out a same game parlay on uh no, rocking no. New Year's Eve? No, no SGPs <laughs> on uh Seacrest no rocking ladders. New Year's Eve. Is there no. a worse place in the world you would rather be than Times Square on New Year's no, Eve? No, that's horrible. <laughs> and, and you know, Sean, you were talking about uh the ladder stuff. Yeah. I thought you were gonna transition into just the mainstream consuming the ladder. I mean, I don't know if you saw the New York Post uh mm. publishing. Oh yeah, they <laughs> they have ladder props now. Doing ladder props, uh so it's uh, imitation's the uh, highest form of flattery, it's but it's absolutely, at some point. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I, at one point an imitation for platform now, now it's, it's kind of getting disgusting. It's become a thing. That is a disgusting how, how soon be, before a, a sports book calls the alt yardage section, the ladder. Section. Well, my favorite part, this usually happens. This happens to me too, with some of my comic clips where someone will have a joke after mine or something, oh. and, and they claim that I took it from them. Oh. So they're going to say that they took the ladder, that I took the ladder yes. from them. It's going to come full circle. Even and, though, right. And, and even though CJ I'm, will even though be I'm, accused. Yeah. I'll be accused of stealing from me, <laughs> even though I'm well documented before any of these guys and you can't spell leader without ladder, or maybe you can, I don't know. You need an extra E or take out a D either way. The ladder llama. Show the me the set with yes. all the ladders. Ladder so sh- right. sh- show, show me the other Proof's set the out pudding. there with all the you ladders. You can show me another. Yeah. I mean, Kramer has like a giant ass rope ladder hanging behind yeah. him. I want time stamped ladders. Look at all these. I mean, <laughs> it's a ladder we're bonanza. Uh, we're getting we're getting uh, construction equipment offers. We talk about ladders so much. <laughs> what more do you ladder, need? Ladder, ladder, ladder. Extension cord, extension cord. <laughs> all right, you want hot tub? Hot tub. Hot <laughs> tub. Kramer, Think what we do you can got? Fit a hot tub in here. Yeah, so we're oh, gonna. Yeah. Uh, as I mean, you jo- met, Rosen got one in his dorm room. As as you, uh, we'll get get rid of Colby's desk. Put in the hot tub. Josh Rosen was a con man, so there is that. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna skip over the first touchdowns yep. because uh, we're gonna give them out during our big party. Um, yep. Yes. Our nose beers party. Our decaf nose beers decaf. party. Yeah. Sorry, decaf nose beers. I mean, if you want to play along at home with whatever uh, version of leaded nose beers, <laughs> that's on you. But we're gonna do decaf one. Yes. Time. All right. Uh, let's keep it simple. Three games, six people to score a touchdown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred and one to one. That's, I love that. Keep it simple. Six touchdowns. <laughs> yes, and we have some uh, turns of services. Beautiful. Buffer every day. I'm buffering. Buffering. Uh, first game: Saints versus Bucks. 
Okay. Mm, Chris Olave, Mike Evans, both score touchdown. Done. Evans, easy money. Chris Olave going against the pass funnel that is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers mm. second. Game number two, Washington and San Francisco. Give me Terry McLaurin and give me George Kittle. Mm. Feels like George Kittle could also be in here, but yeah, little. Oh, oh yeah, of course, of course, very chalky. There are six of them. Uh, so one more game, <laughs> two more touchdowns. Raheem Mostert again, mm. staying pretty chalky, and Isaiah likely. Miami's been pretty bad against the tight end. Again, those six, three games, six touchdowns, hundred and one to one. Wow. Oh my god. Ryan, I also have a hundred to one bet. No, no, no. Mine is one hundred and one. Okay, to one. So <laughs> it's actually plus one zero one three one. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm gonna just because yeah. you said that, I'm gonna amp mine up. <laughs> CJ, what do you got? Uh, All what right. Got? Well, I got one hundred and ten to one. Oh, okay. you son of a bitch! This oh, mine's, uh, mine's gonna be bonkers once you see this. My first one is one hundred and ten to one. Um, the aforementioned Kenneth Gainwell sixty yards rushing. Okay. This is my old. I always start with a reasonable. <laughs> 60 yards rushing Kenneth Gainwell and then a team that we hate and the latter I was going to give oh. out uh Brandon Cooks. He is a boomer bust receiver mm. and this is going to be a shootout this Dallas Detroit game. And Detroit second most receiving yards to wide receivers the last 5 games, oh, almost 1000 <gasps> yards. Uh for him his ladder tops off at 90 yards at 8 to 1. Whoa. By the way, Brandon Cooks. Hmm, that's actually uh, all right. Keep talking. Keep so, talking. You just you just put those two together. Cooks ninety yard, Cooks ninety yards. Gainwell sixty yards. That's one hundred and ten to one. What? Oh my god! Yeah, there, there must be a pricing thing. Go read that off again. Cooks sixty yards. <laughs> Cooks Cooks ninety yards. Ninety yards. Cooks okay. ninety yards. And, Gainwell, and that's nine to one. Gainwell sixty yards. That's a ten to one. This is why we brought CJ and Colby. I mean, or Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm, I'm getting you guys so confused. The ladder no, chatters. It's, they li- it's the, no, I love it. That's what I'm saying. I'm discombobulating everyone. You're the parlay odds calculator. Is that I'm doing this yeah. thing right? No, yeah, you're doing it right. Nine you're to one, right. ten to one equals 110 to one. Yeah. Wait, Let's go. Wait till I, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's a it, fun, fun fact about uh, once you get into like plus odds, mm-hmm. you just add one. Yeah. So ten. So nine to one becomes ten. Okay. Ten to one becomes eleven. Ten times eleven is one hundred and ten. Bang! Bang! Come on! That's Smash. the. It's the beauty of the European odds. For those who don't know, the Europeans do it the the, the best way. I literally stunned yeah. the host here. Wait, what? That's it? <laughs> That's all we got to do this to is, get one hundred and ten to one in our pockets. Sean didn't memorize his multiplication no. tables. Oh, I did, but yeah, I don't want to show off. There must be a mistake in there. Run those numbers again. <laughs> Sorry, What's yeah, Gainwell got to do? It should only be <laughs> it should be a plus one fifty. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the decimal in. place in the wrong spot. Yes. All right, uh, mine. I'm noticing a trend. I'm a patterns guy. Okay. okay, Raiders, Chargers. What happened? Char- what happened? Raiders won, right? Yeah, yeah. by by sixty points or something. And they also scored on the defensive side, right? A couple yeah. times, okay. scored two touchdowns. Yeah. If you would have said, "Hey, is there any chance they're going to do that again?" I would have said, "No way, they do it back to back games." Did they do it again? They did it back to back games. You would think the Raiders' defense has a knack for scoring touchdowns. Right now, they got to adjust the odds. No, Gardner Minshew. Is going mm. up against the Raiders defense. Raiders defense, two touchdowns. In spite of the fact they've done this in back to back games, is still 100 to 1. How do we not have a little piece of that? Just in case. Give me the Raiders defense, Wait, two, touchdowns, two touchdowns, 100 to 1. Game? They scored two touchdowns last game. What? Do, oh. Against the Chiefs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All they've right. scored four touchdowns in the last two games. It's maybe it's not oh. sustainable, but at 100 to 1. Are you gonna feel like an idiot when it happens a third time? I don't think I registered the second one against the Chiefs. Yeah, so that I was the pick, that was that was the pick six no, when he, yeah, no, when he uh, offered it to the boy, little boy Lloyd, no, I, and then it was, snuck it out it of was, his hand yeah, it, and it went viral. Oh, look at this jerk! Look at this Grinch! Turnovers and, come in bunches, and then so do touchdowns. Raiders yeah. two touchdowns, one hundred to one. Yes. How do we not have one of these? I thought you were going about to say Broncos defense two touchdowns against Easton Stick. I don't mind that, but the yeah. the Broncos touchdown prices aren't out yet, so <laughs> I, that's where I thought you were going. That's I like the I, hot, I, a I hot like Raider scoring defense. Fading Easton Stick, uh, not opposed to that at all. Like the Broncos minus three, like them three and a half. 
Nice job. We'll be getting down on those. Mm. Uh, make sure you check out CJ. Subscribe to the Bottom Line Bombs podcast. CJ been doing very well in the Circa Millions mm. contest. Trying to get one of those big checks for a min cash. Yes, one hundred percent. Get this man some cash. Um, so check him nice. out on the Bottom Line Bombs podcast, and uh, he, w- he will be on our Veasan show, mm. adding, extending his ladders <laughs> in our ladder segment. Easy now. You're loose course, with the language, <laughs> and of course, uh, getting the hey, stick. Hit my ladder button. Yeah. Make it bigger. <laughs> Get the stick. Check him out in Vegas where he extends his ladder. We already <laughs> talked about it. I had to explain this to the wife. It was a whole thing. <laughs> A uh, Veasan show tomorrow, uh, 9 p.m. Pacific, Friday night, midnight East. Uh, plenty of podcasts to catch up. We talk college basketball, of course, the NFL pig spot. So much content, Ryan. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second money green. He's Ryan. That uh, a lot of good ladder, a lot of good props today. Yeah, Kramer, let it ride.